everyone, my name is Lisa, welcome back to my channel. So, I have been making, or I've decided to make this little kind of, I guess, part, um, series about the beauty gurus like Laura Lee, Nikita Dragoon, uh, Gabriel Zamora, Manny M.U.A., and Graveyard Girl. Well, I already, if you have not seen in my previous video, I did want to made one about Graveyard Girl. Um, I want to quick, quickly touch bases on that. I did, um, I did make a video about Graveyard Girl, like, to put my two cents in her situation about how she supposedly flipped out, uh, in, like, Starbucks because they wouldn't give her free refills in our chemistry lab experiments. And I had someone comment, I deleted the comment, but basically it was like, well, you don't know this, and like, oh, well, you know, you're just, this is just being over exaggerated okay and, and the point being is is that she thinks that she's so entitled that she can go into starbucks and get her chemistry lab experience like free refills just go back whenever she wants and you know when they said oh sorry we can't do that like you're cut off and then all of a sudden she flipped out because she couldn't get her refills anymore i'm sorry but as a sense of entitlement i do not support it and I think this is this this issue does need to be addressed because in this day and age now, people are acting entitled like, oh, we well, we deserve this. Okay, no, I'm sorry, you guys don't deserve shit. Not to be blunt, but it's the truth of the matter. But anyways, moving on. So this video, I have decided to make it about Laura Lee, and the reason why I want to touch bases about Laura Lee is because of. One, she's, about her tweets, you know, she says that she came from a small town in Alabama, she really didn't know, I'm sorry, and she's, oh, made these tweets about six years ago, and I think she's about 28 now, so she would have been like 22, I'm really sorry, but you can use, you cannot use the excuse of that you used to live in a small town in Alabama. Granted, Alabama is part of the Deep South, so it is very racist down there. But I think when you reach a certain point in your life, you understand ignorance and racism. And she says, well, I didn't know. I really think she did know, but she just didn't care. She didn't care enough. Because I really don't, I really think that deep down, it wasn't really going to haunt her, but it did. And I think it's just, it's kind of funny to a point because here she is, like her and Manny and all of them, they drag Jeffree Star into the mud and here we are. And the thing is that she made a form, I want to say, I have... The video up here. Well, I couldn't really see it. And, oh, no. Here we go. So, it's an apology video. It's the first one there. This is my apology. Uploaded two weeks ago. It has 10 million views. And, as you can see from the time set for the video, it's basically five minutes long. And, to me, when you have... When you make an apology video, especially when it has to deal with racism, it has to be longer than four minutes. And I can't remember correctly, but I think either Manny uploaded and then she uploaded. Or some either she uploaded and It's weird because Manny has uploaded two videos. So I'm, I think he uploaded first and then it went Laura. And then it went Gabriel. And then it went Manny again. Um, Nikita has kind of made an apology video, but she only did it on pretty, I think only on Insta, it either was Instagram or Snapchat, and to me that's chicken shit. She needs to make an apology video and upload it to, uh, YouTube. I really do, because she needs to follow in the footsteps of everyone, because she was involved in this video with her, Gabriel, Laura, and the Manny. Anyways, we're getting off track, we'll talk about Nikita and Manny. And Gabriel in a future video, like, it's going to be a series that I'm doing, guys. So my problem with Laura's video is that she's mainly crying. All it is is she's basically, she's whining, she's crying, she's squealing. 
She's not really looking directly into the camera. And another thing, too, is that there's a lot of skips you can see in the video. And she says that she's embarrassed. And I, said, I really don't think she's embarrassed because it really... It didn't really help with the fact that she... Like, she kept loading other makeup videos, but then, like, everyone's like, where's your apology video? Where is it? Where is it? We need it. Well, she finally did upload a video. And I'm actually sorely disappointed in her for someone who's 28 years old. And, and <clears throat> excuse me, I'm, I've been a little bit sick. For someone who's 28 years old and... Called out Jeffree Star in his past, but then when her racist past brings up, she's kind of going to hiding. And I've noticed that on social media, on Instagram, and on YouTube, she's been extremely quiet. Like, I've never really seen her this quiet before. Like, I even looked at her Instagram page, and the last picture she even uploaded, I'm pretty sure, was like August 14th or something like that. That was... What, three weeks ago when that happens? Three weeks ago, she's been quiet on social media. And I find that extremely alarming. Um, I don't know if she's just trying to lay low because of the situation that has happened. With, um, you know, basically her and Manny and, well, see, Laura. Well, not so much Manny, but Laura. She used to be at 5.2 million subscribers, and now she's down to 4.4 million. She literally lost almost a million subscribers, about 800,000 subscribers. She lost that many. She lost contracts out on a thing that was called BoxyCharm and Ulta and some other places. They... and. You know, she, you know, she basically shot herself in the foot a little bit because they dropped her brand. And then what I have been told, I have not tested this out for myself yet, but what I have seen on videos online is that when you use her Laura Lee or Laura Lee code on Morphe, as a, I think it's 10% off or something, it doesn't work. She's not on list on their... A Morphe Babes on the Morphe website. She her favorite brush set is no longer for sale on Morphe, and I find that very interesting. That she she has lost so much out of this whole situation. Not so much Manny and anything like that. Laura is the one who got screwed over the most, and I'm not sure if I really feel bad for her. I mean, I really hope that she's sitting here right now and. She doesn't have to see this video. She's probably never, ever going to see this video. But I just find it interesting that I hope she's really sitting at home and, like, seriously, is like, what the fuck have I done? You know, if I didn't say this years ago, it wouldn't have been brought up. But then again, she really didn't know what would have happened. You're, you know, this would have happened. But I hope she's sitting there and, like, I, I'm, I really hope she feels bad and I really think she needs to apologize to Jeffrey personally about what she's just saying. Oh, yeah, I'm such a hypocrite. Or, you know, I'm really sorry. Um, do I think Jeffrey Star is going to rekindle that friendship? I kind of doubt it because... And I have noticed that he's growing. Like, he grew up to 10, 10 million subscribers. And so uh, while he's growing, everyone else is just dropping like freaking flies. And I think that's great. I mean, I used to like Laura and her channel. I used to watch it a lot when her and Jeffrey did videos together. But then when they stopped making videos together, um, I really didn't watch her channel because I feel like it was, you know, the same. I don't know. I... I guess the situation's kind of hard to describe because when I used to watch her videos, uh, something about her... You know, I know she's a little quirky and everything like that, but then it just seemed a little bit too much. Like, it wasn't really her. Like, she was trying too hard, and I guess that's how I feel about the situation. I feel like she was trying very, very hard. You know, and... Like I said, we're gonna go into Manny's, and I think I'm gonna go a little bit deeper into Manny because he did make a two-part um, apology video, and I actually want to get into a little bit, and I also want to talk about his little Mormon past and a little bit about the Mormons, 
But anyways, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share, and comment down below.